Hey everyone, Missy Kitten here. So, I've decided that every Saturday I will do a little thing. We'll call it Serious Saturday. And we'll see if we can get him in. Serious Saturday with Sammy. <laughs> I know that didn't really seem like I'm serious, but today we'll talk about serious stuff every Saturday. I know that my last video, my last vlog, I should say, was serious, but we'll keep this up every Saturday. So, my last vlog I talked about mental disorders. Mental disabilities, basically. Mental illnesses. So today, I figured we can talk about ways to help yourself with those. Now, I know I'm not the best at dealing with them. I'm no professional. But I have my methods and Maybe my methods could help you too. We can help each other during this. So, method number one, friend. Animal companions, they know when you're upset. They really do. And if they're like this little guy, who actually isn't little anymore, that makes me sad, I, they'll be there for you. This little guy, I've had him since I was like six, and he's always been there. Animal companions will be there for you when you're sad, when you don't feel good, anything. If you're allergic to animals, um, people, human companions, don't say you're allergic to humans. I don't think you, I don't think you can be allergic to humans. You can be allergic to the stuff they wear, but you can't be allergic to humans. I don't think. I'm not a doctor. Don't quote me on that. Now, method number two. I know it seems hard, but just think positive. Okay, sorry. He wanted a kissy. He does that a lot. Thinking positive is always really difficult. But, how do I want to say this? If you just set your mind to it, even if you think you're lying to yourself when you think positive, eventually if you just keep doing that, it becomes a habit, and then you stick with it. That's always nice. Thinking positive is good. Another method is don't be afraid to admit you need help. That is really, really important. I, for the longest time, I was afraid to admit that. I didn't want help. And it's really important to get help before it gets bad. Or worse, really. Because, I mean, it's already bad. And you don't want it getting any worse. You don't want to question your self-control. That's probably the hardest part about it, is when you start questioning yourself. Um, method, another one. Just dance. Dance like nobody's watching. Just have fun. Even if there's no music, just start dancing around your room, or your anywhere, really. Dance, sing, sing like no one's listening. Really, it helps. You have to keep your mind off of it. That's the most important part, is keeping your mind off of it all. I've noticed that helps a lot. It's hard to get your mind off of it. I know that. But if you can do that, then you, you'll be fine for a while. These feelings normally, they don't, they're hard to get away. They're hard to keep away. But if you get something that can distract you from that, then that's perfect. All right, um, another method. Give yourself a makeover. Screw around in silly outfits. 
dress up. No matter how old you are, dress up. Feel beautiful inside out. Feel handsome for you guys. Beautiful for your soul, guys. But seriously, put on a good outfit. Even if you're not going anywhere, just throw on an outfit. Mess around in it. Just feel pretty. Feel good about yourself. Feel great. Just girls throw on a dress, spin around in it. Do what makes you happy. Do whatever your style is. Yes, Sammy, I know. It really doesn't matter as long as you're doing something that gets your mind off of it. And it's it's always good to have fun while you're doing it. We only have one life. Do you really want to spend it just sitting around doing nothing? Which, I mean, is what I do, but I can't drive or anything. If you have the opportunity to go out and do something that you've always wanted to do, take that opportunity. Just do it. Don't hesitate. If it's an amazing opportunity, let's take me for example. I, when I was in freshman year, had the opportunity to be, to be a foreign exchange student and go to Australia. I didn't have the money for it though, which was pretty upset because that would have been amazing. So if you have the opportunity like that and it's something that you can do, then do it. You don't want to miss out on something like that. That can change your whole outlook on life if you do something amazing instead of just sitting around. The whole reason most people, their depression gets as bad as it is, is because they don't do anything to help themselves. And that's what most people need to work on, is finding ways that, to help themselves. And I hope that some of these methods can help you, like they've helped me. Like I said, you know, there's no telling what all will help you. But it's all worth a try. Because nobody wants to be stuck like this. Nobody would wish this upon anyone. Not really. So, I mean, take the opportunities that you have to get better. Make your life worthwhile. Don't just sit around and decay. Make your life meaningful. Um, i trying to think if I have any other methods. Play video games. Video games are always fun. Like I said, anything to distract yourself. I saw a thing. Figured this will be a little silly. I mean, it's a little kind of Captain Obvious kind of thing. Um, there was a study showing that people without their limbs are depressed. That's a little obvious. I mean, if I lost my leg or my arm, of course I'd be sad. Of course I'd be depressed. Wouldn't you? I mean... That's gone. I'd have to learn a bunch of new stuff. No offense to anyone out there if you've lost a limb, but for what I just that. But of course you're gonna be depressed. You lost a part of your body. And they said using your hands which this might sound a little inappropriate, can help with depression. Of course, you go out, you draw, you write, it's gonna take your mind off of it. It's not necessarily just using your hands, just getting your mind off of it will help. So, there's a few methods. I'm not sure if there's anything else I can really think of right now. So, yeah, I 
think I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for joining me on Serious Saturday with Sammy. <laughs> I will see you next time.